Hello everybody, I'm gonna be on in just a second. Uh, I was just had to, sorry I'm running late, I had to get my Halloween costume on. I think you guys will know it pretty quick. I think you'll like it. Alright, well let's play with Jimbo for a little bit and then we're gonna get rocking and rolling. But please let me know um, how the audio sounds, if you can. That would be super duper helpful. Alright, be on in just a second. As you can probably tell, Jimbo is very feisty today, but I am just finishing up. I'll be on in just a sec. Stay right there. 
Hello, everybody. Oh, man, you can kind of like barely see my outfit. Hold on. Let me see if I can change to do a full screen. There we go. What do you guys think of my... What? What is that thing on the screen right there? What is this? Oh, it's the microphone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This might be loud for just a hot second. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Hi, everybody. Happy almost Halloween. What do you think about my Halloween costume? Can you tell who I am? I think this helps out quite a lot. Um, yeah, I'm Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. And Jules is going to be Audrey. And then here, of course, is Audrey, too. Originally, my plan was to have Jimbo be Audrey, too, and make like, uh, make, like, a whole outfit for him with, like, crochet. But I don't have time for that. But how cool is this? It actually opens up. So I'm going to fill this up with um, probably with, like, candy corn or something for, um, for the, uh, you know, for the... We're going to a Halloween party after this after the live stream today. So, yeah, I thought, you know, maybe I'll fill it with candy or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I've got to do Band-Aids on my fingers, too. That's that's definitely coming as part of it. But let me know what you think about my Halloween costume in the chat. I'm saying hi to everybody. Also, check this out. It's a real bow tie. Um, if you can't tell because of just the person that I am throughout all these live streams, I was a super nerd in high school, and I did wear bow ties. Not all the time, but every now and then. But I uh, made sure that they were always real bow ties, never clip-ons. So I know how to tie a bow tie. Listen, okay, I know. I know. I'm a huge geek, but it's just the way I be. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the hands. Hi, everybody. How are you? Hope you guys are having a wonderful end of the... Um, end of Halloween era it's the last week Halloween weekend um I actually I might roll these sleeves up too but I don't know but yeah as you can see I don't have uh, I want to have a bunch of band-aids on my fingers before I leave but I figured it's kind of, probably gonna be kind of hard to crochet with the band-aids on my fingers so I decided not to do that um for the stream but yes murder the toy kitty yes yes Jimbo is a psychotic kitten uh, but you know what? He's chilling in his spot, cleaning himself. Everything's going great. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, let's talk about what we're doing today. Um, all, talk about all the materials that you're going to need if you want to crochet along with me. Uh, and then we'll just get crocheting. We'll talk about the giveaway. That's right. We got a giveaway going on today. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, hi, Katrina. I'm glad to see you in the chat because I actually did add something to the website uh, specifically with you in mind. Um, <laughs> so I'm glad to see you in the chat. Um, okay, well, let's start with what we're doing today. Today, we're going to be crocheting some more ghosts. Now, I had the thought last night of doing, um, I really wanted to do a mini Garumi ghost pattern in this season, but obviously we are cutting it pretty short today. So, I thought what would be kind of fun today is if we did an impromptu tutorial for this little mini Garumi ghost. So I'll do a video tutorial for this and get it onto the website. At least I'm going to try to get it onto the website, maybe even during this live stream. I don't know. Um, I just thought that'd be kind of fun. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to crochet a smaller, like, or, you know, a medium sized ghost. And we're going to choose what kind of ghost to make. We're going to either make a classic ghost and we'll vote on like the kinds of faces or if we want to add a hat or anything like that to it or we can make ghastly from uh, pokemon or we can make um boo from super mario brothers well uh it's going to be up to you guys what the main ghost pattern is going to be but i thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little kind of kind of tutorial like live tutorial i thought that'd be kind of fun let me know what you guys think in the chat though um but yeah and then while we're doing all that, <clears throat> we're also going to be doing a giveaway. Under this fella right here is a um, is a creature of some kind. You get to guess. There is a link. Uh, Cooper just put it into the chat, but there's also a link in the comments uh, in the description rather down below. Um, you can use that link to make your guess. Throughout this live stream, I'm going to give you hints <clears throat> as to what is in there. 
from the winners of the people that choose the correct answer, it's just like a multiple choice. I think there's like 10 or 20 choices of what could be under that. Um, but from the winners of the people that get it correct, I'm going to randomly choose one person to win the brand new seasonal or the brand new starter crochet kit that is out right now, um, which I'm going to talk about in just a second as well. But you win a crochet kit if you get it right. Now, we're not going to announce the winner to, on today's live stream. Instead, we're going to announce it at the end on Halloween. So I'm going to announce the winner on Halloween. Um, uh, but if you watch this live stream all the way through, uh, you'll get a bunch of different hints as to what the answer could be, and you're going to make it much more likely that you will get the answer correctly. Um, in fact, if you don't get the answer correctly by the end of this live stream, I'll be pretty surprised. Uh, there is no speed here, so if you, as long as you get it, uh, your submissions in before the giveaway is uh, done, you're going to be good to go. Um, okay, so I'm going to probably try to do a, um, a new hint every 30 minutes or so. Um, so yes, uh, that is good to know for Iaz. I'm kind of voting boo also for the crochet. Um, but you know, we'll leave it up to you guys when we get to that point. Another thing I wanted to mention before we get started is there is a new mini Gurumi pattern out on the preview patterns. It's not ready, really ready to be released publicly yet. In fact, this one's probably going to need a pretty good amount of testing, but there's a new mini Gurumi pattern for a little tiny goblin. It's now out on the preview patterns that's available for members. Um, if you have questions on how to uh, access the preview patterns, probably the easiest way is to go to clubcrochet.com slash browse or just go to the website and go to the browse uh, portion. Scroll all the way to the bottom and that's where you can find the preview patterns. Um, that's going to be the easiest way to find it, but I'm looking for feedback. So if you can try this pattern out, um, this is especially goes out to you, Katrina. Uh, because you've been requesting this to get into the preview patterns as soon as possible. So um, if you can give me feedback, this pattern is pretty complicated, so I could use all as much feedback as possible before I record the video tutorial. Okay, so that is the little caveats there. Now let's talk about all the materials that you're going to need to crochet this pattern along with me today if you want to. We're going to be pulling out from our seasonal crochet kit. Um, this is our brand new seasonal crochet kits. They're super cool. I highly suggest you check them out. Um, they're available now in the, uh, duh, 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 duh. I'm confused how all the rounds add up to 10 each time, however. Okay, good. See, we already got feedback. Um, that is good feedback. Uh, I, make sure to leave comments on the post uh, for that little goblin so that I have all the feedback in one place. Uh, and then I'll go in after today's stream and I'll answer some questions too. Um, okay, so we're going to be pulling from our brand new seasonal crochet kit. This one's Holiday Hooks. It's available now in the shop, as well as all of our seasonal crochet kits, some of which you could see. Um, I feel like the music's really loud. Is the music really loud, or is that just on my hand? Half. I think it is really loud. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Um, they're all available in the shop. Uh, if you want to purchase to, uh, this season's seasonal crochet kit, uh, it is at discount uh, now. Um, but we also have the Under the Sea one and Photosynthesis available in the shop. They make really good Christmas gifts. Um, they're three months worth of crochet with a whole bunch of material, uh, and it's a great way to support this channel. It also comes with membership to our website, and yeah, you should totally get it. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right. Now let's go ahead and open it. We're gonna, we've been crocheting through this through this entire month, so we've already kind of worked our way through a lot of the yarns. Um, Obviously, you're going to need a crochet hook today. I'm going to be using a size 4 millimeter G crochet hook. It's just my favorite kind of hook to use for um, uh, the yarn that we're going to be using, which is worsted weight cotton yarn. So we'll go ahead and put that here. Um, if you get a seasonal crochet kit with annual pass, you also get a uh, our enamel pin. Um, these are going to be in the shop. These I meant to get this in the shop today, but uh, I kind of goofed that up. So these are going to be in the shop ASAP. Um, oh, actually, you know what? They might be already in the shop. These actually might be in the shop already. Um, but yes, they come with a magnetic backing. But they are available with an annual pass, which gets you four seasons of crochet kits and really is the best way to support this channel um, when it comes down to it. Um, but today, I think all we're really going to need is our white yarn today for the main pattern. Um, if you want to make your ghosts in different colors, obviously you totally can. Uh, you might also want your black thread, which I'm pretty sure I already removed from the kit. 
Ah, yes, here it is. I didn't put it back because I am a bum. Uh, so you're gonna need black thread, your white yarn, and then your safety eyes, which I definitely already removed from the kit. Here are, we're gonna be using the six millimeter eyes today. We won't need the eight millimeter eyes unless we wanna make a big ghost. Um, so we're probably just gonna need the six millimeter eyes today. So white yarn, black thread, six millimeter eyes. You'll obviously need some stuffing. You might need some altern alternative colors if you wanna add things like hats or something to it. Um, but yeah, everything else in this kit is going to be used for other patterns later this season. Um, I'm really excited. The next one we're going to need is our brown yarn and our white yarn. So we can't go through all the white yarn today. So I'll go ahead and close this up and put this to the side because we won't really need it anymore. Um, I don't think so. We'll put it there just in case. Maybe we will and I'm not thinking it through. Um, but we'll put this to the side. We got all the things there. Oh, you might also want a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle. Uh, with that curved end helps you get in and out of stitches. It just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, and then, of course, you want a pair of scissors for, you know, the whole cutting stuff part of patterns. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, ways you can support this channel. So if you like what's going on here and you would like to support it and make sure that Club Crochet survives forever well it's all supported by you literally that's it it is all supported by um by people like yourself if you want to support uh there's a few different ways to do so you can of course purchase merch and kits in the store uh it is available uh all these pins here are available in the store we also have t-shirts uh we've got these cute little we've got t-shirts with jiminy cricket my cat on it with a ball of yarn um we also have a bunch of kits available in the store other than the seasonal crochet kits. We have a brand new starter kit that I just added back into the shop. It's our cheapest kit uh, option. It is designed to teach you how to crochet. So this might not be the perfect kit for everybody in the chat right now, but it is the perfect kit to give as a gift to the person that you have been waiting to try to get into crochet. This is the kit for that. It is a seasonal, or it's a starter crochet kit with two balls of our amigurumi cotton yarn, uh, a bunch of other miscellaneous materials for learning how to crochet. <laughs> I lost my voice there. I had to catch it. Um, <laughs> for learning how to crochet, of course it has uh, a crochet hook with our handle uh, in it. Um, I've really just upgraded the, the kit to include um, our new fancier materials. Um, but it goes along with Crocheting 101, my complete beginner series that teaches you how to crochet from beginning to end, and it makes six projects throughout the season, uh, throughout the series. Today, uh, so it's available now. Um, you can find links for it in the shop or at clubcrochet.com slash shop. I believe it's also in the bottom of this video. There's like a bunch of products. You can purchase it there as well. Um, okay, uh, but yes, today if you win the giveaway, you're actually gonna win one of those kits. So it's kind of cool. I figured it'd be kind of fun to give as a gift to someone, but really if you win the giveaway, you're gonna get a gift card to the website that's worth as much as the kit is. So that way, if you don't wanna get the starter kit, you can instead get a different kit. So make sure to enter the giveaway um, there. Okay, before we get into the pattern today, um, let's go ahead uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get through all the ways you can support. Uh, I, honestly, probably the easiest or best way to support is with the Club Crochet membership, by the way. Membership gets you early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones in every single month. There are a lot. I think I'm pushing 300 now. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really good way to support the channel. It's only $5 a month. You can even try a free trial, cancel it at any time. Uh, and it's a great way to support the channel. You also get discounts on in the shop and stuff like that. Um, merch kits that... Oh, subscribe to this video. Like the video. Um, if this video gets enough likes, we're going to do another giveaway next live stream. Uh, let's see. what. How many likes do we currently have? Okay, we only got like 40 likes so far. So if we get to... Let's go, let's let's shoot for 150. If we can get 150 likes on this video before the next live stream, I will do another giveaway next live stream. Um, like, subscribe, that stuff. Uh, and then the very last thing you can do if you really want to is you can tip. If you would like to tip, uh, it would be very, very nice. You absolutely don't have to. 
but it's very sweet if you would like to. Um, you can tip by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. There's a link in the description, or you can hit the little money icon in the chat if you're on YouTube um, to do a super chat. All of those will count as a tip. If you do tip today, we're gonna add something to the background, which will add to the fishbowl in the back here. We are uh, almost filled with the fishbowl, which also unlocks the giveaway. So yeah, just another great way to support if you'd like to. Um, I think, <laughs> interesting number there, Cooper, but I super duper appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. Cooper tipped $7.21. I'm trying to think if that is that a joke on the costume. Is there a joke in Little Shop of Horrors where something's worth seven dollars and twenty-one cents? I feel like I'm missing something there. But regardless, thank you so much for your support, Cooper. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yes, and Cooper is MVP with the links right now. Let's go ahead. We'll add something to the background for Cooper. We're pretty much filled with the almost filled up our entire thing here. So let's put something big. To really push us over the edge and we'll add let's add our let's let's add our beautiful nerdy sea star because you know we're clearly in a nerdy mood today so we're gonna add this nerdy sea star for you uh cooper i believe we did have a name for this sea star but i cannot remember what it is is it aries or sirius might have been sirius I think it's named after the brightest star in the sky, which I think might have been Sirius. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but someone remind me what our sea star's name is, and we're going to add this to at the end to our thing there. Um, oh, it's just the exchange rate. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, is he trying to tell me something? I can't tell. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for your support again, Cooper. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit silent now uh, with the chat. Uh, so give me give me just a little bit of time, chat. I will be reading the chat, um, and I'll answer any questions if you have any questions throughout this part of this video. One second. I realized I needed, I needed a sip of coffee. Okay, so here ha here's how this is going to work. This is going to be a live pattern for how to crochet. I need to turn this music down a little bit. It is in my ears. That's pretty good. Okay, I think that fits. Okay, so this is going to be a live crochet pattern for how to crochet a very ultra miniature ghost. Um, it's gonna be pretty quick, obviously, because there's not very many stitches here. While I go through this, chat, if you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. Um, I am gonna clip this part of the video out of the, of the live stream at the end to make its own video version, you know, um, so that we can, uh, so that I can like upload it as its own separate video too. Um, actually, maybe I can record this too. Um, you know what, I'll start recording in just a second um, on my end also. But um, yes, if you, by the way, if you do choose to tip or anything during the live stream, um, I won't be adding your thing on the, in the background, but your tip will be forever ingrained in the video. So while I'm doing the pattern, you can tip. I would appreciate it. You don't have to, but you totally can. Um, and it will be a forever on the stream uh, or on the pattern kind of tip, which is kind of cool. Um, Okay, so I don't 100%, this is a big caveat here, I don't 100% remember how I crocheted this pattern. I'm gonna probably be making it up as I go, um, a little bit as I go, uh, so bear with me there. Um, let's see, is there any other things I need to mention before I get going here? Um, this will probably be half an hour of the live stream, and then after that we're gonna get to at crocheting something together. Um, I hope that's okay with you. Uh, and yeah, I just thought this was kind of like a fun thing to do. Um, all right, well, here we go. I'm gonna cut in just a second. Let me go ahead and hit record here. Uh, and I hope that saves in the right spot. Um, but I'm gonna do my whole spiel and everything as if I'm actually recording a how-to video. So, 
already heads up i apologize for uh any goofs that i do throughout this because this is live and goofs happen <sighs> all right let's see how good i am at this this is kind of it, it's improv yes it's improv pattern yes Hey there, it's Louie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a very miniature micro ghost. This is part of my new mini Gurumi series where I crochet a whole bunch of patterns in 100 stitches or less with no sewing at all. By the way, you are live on our live stream today, so this is a live pattern and tutorial. There's a decent chance I will goof up in this pattern, and that's okay. We're going to still be making it one stitch at a time, and I'll explain every stitch as we go. Now, if you want to find more mini Gurumi patterns, like this little tiny goblin, or our whole series of miniature Amigurumi that are based on under-the-sea creatures, like octopuses and squids, you can find links in the description below, on screen now, or at clumpcrochet.com slash mini Gurumi. Um, okay, well, for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm going to use all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. We're going to need the colors white for the main color, <laughs> and then we'll need a little bit of black thread for our smile. You'll need a very, very small amount of stuffing. Honestly, I just use spare thread for my stuffing because it's even easier than just actually using stuffing. Uh, and yeah, that's all the really materials you need except for the eyes. You will need six millimeter safety eyes for this pattern. Um, okay, so other than the materials, the tools you're going to need, we're going to be using a crochet hook. Come on, focus. There we go. Crochet hook size G4 millimeter in this video. It's my favorite size crochet hook to use with the yarn we're going to be using. Speaking of which, we're going to be using worsted weight cotton yarn from our brand new seasonal crochet kits that are available in the description below. Um, this yarn is my favorite to use for Amigurumi, but you can really use any kind of yarn that you want to for these patterns. In in fact, uh, using bulky blanket yarn might make a really cute um, larger ghost. That's actually maybe the size of our normal size ghost. Um, this is also a free pattern in our on our website. I'll link to that in the description as well. So if you want a different ghost, this is a nice one too. It actually also makes it into a finger puppet. Um, so we're going to be using worsted weight cotton yarn for this pattern uh, in colors white. You'll need some black thread obviously from the mouth. Um, and then we'll need, uh, we've got a crochet hook, we'll need a pair of scissors, and then we'll need a darning needle. You'll pretty much barely need this darning needle, like I said in the beginning. This pattern is all sewn, um, uh, is, is not sewn together. So there's nothing other than sewing it closed that you need to do. It does help to sew it closed using a darning needle with a crimped end, but you don't really, really need it. It's just kind of like nice to have. Um, okay, now, I do not technically have this pattern written down. So this is completely an improvised pattern. Uh, I think I remember how to make it. Um, and we're gonna be using this as our base as I go through to remember what the rounds are. But you get to kind of see my process for writing a pattern in this too. I kind of thought, you know what? I wanted to do this in the season. Maybe this is the last chance I'm gonna get to. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoy this. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit different than the ones I normally do and hello to the chat hi everybody in the chat watching along and crocheting along with us okay so we're gonna start with our white yarn and we're gonna be using a magic loop method now if you've never made the magic loop to, uh, method before I do have a full video tutorial where I show how to do this magic loop and additional magic loops uh, if you're not into this one that we're gonna be showing here um, if you want to find that tutorial, you can find links right up here or in the description or by going to clubcrochet.com slash magic loop. But this is my favorite way to do it. You want to take the yarn facing downwards towards the ground. You know what? Let me try to change the focus here so it doesn't go in and out of focus. Hopefully that will help. Um, you want it facing down towards the ground and pinch it with your thumb and middle finger like this. Now you want to go around your index finger Oh, sorry, you want it in your palm a little bit too. You want to go around your index finger and middle finger two times. What we're looking to do here is make an X on the front and two parallel lines on the back. Take this end attached to the ball and the little tail end here and go in between your ring and pinky finger. Close it in like that and it'll keep everything closed together. We're going to take our crochet hook, get the back of your yarn, uh, your hand facing you and take your crochet hook Go under that first bar and hook onto the second one like this. 
pull that second bar under the first one and loop it around like so to create a loop on the end of the crochet hook. Go over this first bar here and then hook onto the second one. You kind of want to go over the first one and then you might want your finger to help guide the yarn over the crochet hook like that. Take the yarn that's now hooked onto the crochet hook and pull it through the loop on the hook. The easiest way to do that is to twist it slightly like this and scoop it. So I kind of scoop it like that and pull and twist all at the same time. So oops, like this, twist, scoop like that to get it through that. That's gonna create something that we call a chain stitch, which will keep everything all pulled together and you can pull it off of your fingers now. Okay, so for round one of our little miniature ghost, this pattern is gonna be worked in the round without turning. So every round, we're just gonna work into the stitches that we made in our first round. For round one, we're just gonna do eight single crochets into the magic loop to get started. So we're gonna take our crochet hook here, go into the center of the magic loop, yarn over with the end attached to the ball, pull it under the loop, then going over, yarn over again, and pull through two loops, one and two. We're gonna do that eight times to create eight single crochets into the magic loop. That right there is gonna be called a single crochet. So we'll go one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I really should have said at the, at the top that if this is your first crochet pattern, um, I don't suggest doing this as your first crochet pattern. Uh, if you need extra help here, go to crocheting101.com. That's my completely beginner series that'll help you learn the basics of crochet. That might be more helpful before you get into this, but that might be a little too late. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> okay, now before I go too much further, I do wanna add just a little bit of yarn in a different color that we can use as basically a stitch marker. This will help us keep track of where the ends of the rounds are, which will just help us in general as we go through the pattern. Take a little tail end of yarn of, in a different color and go straight through the center of the magic loop like this. So we're gonna use our blue here. And then once it's through that center, you can pull the tail end from the beginning of our magic loop tight and it'll tighten around that color. And that way it'll help us keep track of where the ends of the rounds are. As we go through this pattern, I'm gonna fold this over the stitches like that and it'll create this, this little line that'll keep us uh, on track as we go. Okay. And hello again to the, chat, to the chat. Hello, Pick and Poke Designs and Leaf Sauce and Paula. I hope you guys are doing great. And thank you so much for joining the live stream. Okay, so next up, we are going to do round two. Now for round two, we're gonna do three single crochets and then increase one time and repeat that two times total. That's gonna bring your stitch count up from eight stitches, which is what we should currently have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, up to 10 stitches around. So that's what we're aiming for at the end of round two. So as we go around here, we're gonna look at the top of our crochet here, and you'll see how you have like two, I'll use my needle to help point this out. You see how you have two little loops here. You wanna make sure that your crochet hook, uh-oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> we're gonna make sure that we're under both of these loops simultaneously as we go. It just makes things a little bit cleaner as you go instead of just working into the back of the front loop. So we're gonna take our crochet hook, go under both of these loops, and we're gonna do the following repeat. The repeat is uh, three single crochets and then one increase. An increase just means that you put two single crochets into the same stitch. That's all that means. Um, so, as I go though, we're gonna take this tail end and place it over our crochet hook too because we wanna work around this tail end throughout this entire round. This will keep everything locked into place. We're gonna yarn over with the end attached to the ball, not this tail end, and then we're gonna pull it under the stitch with a twist and scoop, and then going over the stitch and over this tail end, we're gonna do our first single crochet of round two. Again, round two's repeat is three single crochets, one, two and three single crochets and then an increased stitch right after that 
right here. An increase again just means two in the same stitch. So there's one and into the exact same stitch will be two like that. So four, or I mean five total, one, two, three, and then four and five to be that increase. Now we're gonna repeat that process again to get to the end of this round. Th three single crochets, one increase. Here we go. This will be one, two, and three. Okay, now we're gonna do one increase here at the very end to finish up round two. One and two in the same exact stitch. Okay, that's gonna be the end of round two. I'm gonna take this tail end here, fold it up like that, and we're gonna ignore it to act as our little stitch marker there. All right, so now we're on to round three. Round three is super ultra easy. It's just gonna be a single crochet into every stitch around. Nice and easy, and also a very good opportunity for you to count your stitches. So you just wanna do, um, by the way, I keep holding this upside down like this because that's actually how we're making it. We're kind of making it from the top to the bottom. So it's kind of easier for me to see where I'm at on, on the finished piece if I hold it upside down. So that's why I'm holding it upside down consistently. So we're just doing one single crochet for every single stitch around, pretty easy. So we're just gonna single crochet all the way around. And hey, as you're watching here, um, both this is both a shout out to the live stream and to anybody watching this video afterwards. If you like this video, please like it down below. It's a really good way to support this channel for completely free. Um, yeah, and make sure to subscribe. If you subscribe and hit the little bell icon, you'll get notified when we do our live crochet longs, like what's happening right now. Say hello, chat. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Um, we are currently live on YouTube. Um, right after we finish this ghost, we're going to be crocheting another ghost uh, live and getting everybody's feedback and ideas as we make our ghost to customize it. So, yeah, you should subscribe. Okay, so that's going to be the last of our 10 single crochet stitches for round three. Now we're on to round four. For round four, we're gonna do one single crochet stitch and then we're gonna do our arm right here. Our arm's gonna be made with a stitch that I'm still trying to come up with a name for. It's kind of like a micro bobble stitch. The problem is I already have a mini bobble stitch, uh, which is like three bobbles together, um, but it's also kind of like a double crochet two together. So I'm gonna show you what that means in just a second, but we're gonna do one single crochet and then the arm and then we're going to do one, two, three, four single crochets, and then the other arm, and finish this up by doing one, two, three single crochets to get to the end of the round. So that's one, arm, four, arm, three. Is that right? I think so. We're gonna figure it out as we go though. So let's pull up our stitch marker here and get started on round four, right? One, two, three, yes, four. So we got one single crochet as normal. Okay, just that one's easy squeezy. One single crochet is normal, and then the arm. So the arm is gonna be a double crochet, two together into one stitch. For that, we're going to yarn over, and then go into the stitch right here. Then we'll yarn over again, pull it under the stitch like that, and then we'll, you should now have three loops on your crochet hook. My blue yarn is totally getting in my way. So I'm just gonna pull that out just a little bit so that it doesn't get in our way. Okay, so you should have three loops on your crochet hook now. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through just two of those loops. One and two like that. Then we're going to repeat that exact same process of what we just did again into the same exact stitch. So we'll yarn over, go into the same stitch that you just worked into right here yarn over again and pull that under the stitch and then going over the stitch we'll yarn over and only pull through two of these loops one and two okay so now you should have three loops on the hook one two three to finish up an arm we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops easiest way twist and scoop to get through all those stitches 
And that's gonna be how to make the arm. You can kind of see how it's like two double crochets put into one stitch. It just makes this little tiny bobbly kind of look. Um, usually I do bigger bobbles for my larger projects, like on our, um, on our full size ghost here, I'm using a full size bobble stitch, which is that repeat four times instead of just two. Um, but this pattern, it's really tiny, so you only need two. Um, okay, so we got our single crochet, our double crochet two together, um, and then we're going to single crochet four times to get to the end of the round. I mean, to our next arm, rather. So four times, one single crochet per stitch for the next four stitches. There's one and two, three, and four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do another arm right here. Uh, same exact way. There's nothing tricky about this second arm. Again, you yarn over for an arm, go into the stitch, yarn over again, and pull it under the stitch. Then going over, yarn over and pull through two. One and two. And then we're going to repeat that process again. Yarn over into the stitch, yarn over and pull it under the stitch. Going over, we'll yarn over and pull through two, one and two. Once, you're, once you've done that, those two repeats, you should have three loops on the hook. We'll yarn over and pull through all three loops with a twist and a scoop like that. Okay, now to finish up this round, we just need to do three single crochets to get to the end of the round. One, two, and three. And that is gonna be the end of round one, two, three, four. So that's the end of round four. We're actually kinda of almost done. We only have two more rounds to go. And as you can see, it's very, it's a very tiny pattern. It's really quick to make. Um, okay, now before I continue going too much further, I'm gonna take this tail end and pull it out of one of the stitches. I'm gonna go with this stitch here. This is technically the back of our piece. So it's kinda of easiest to go in with your crochet hook, yarn over with this tail end, and just pull it through that stitch right here. We're going to use this for double knotting to the end at the very end of our piece and it'll just keep everything sewn together so that we don't have to worry about anything coming apart. Um, okay. Uh, loving the cat cam. Thank you, Ellie. I appreciate that. Okay, so next up we are on round five, I believe. For round five, it's pretty easy. All you need to do for round five is just do a single crochet for every single stitch around. The only tricky part of round five is when you get to the arms right here, it can be kind of hard to see where to put the crochet hook. If you look at the top here, you can see how we've got these two Vs right there. That's where you want to put your crochet hook. It can be a little bit tricky to see though, but right like this. It's kind of easiest. See how I poke downwards towards into the body? That's kind of easier than poking it like up like that. And then just single crochet as normal. So we'll just keep going around and single crocheting. Here we go. So this is just 10 single crochets all the way around. Okay, just a few more. Probably should silence the music in the background, but whatever, I might get a copyright strike. That's all right. <laughs> all right, so there's gonna be the end of round five and our round of just single crochets around. And you can kind of see how our piece is coming together. I just pulled my crochet hook out just so I could show you. I always like to pinch the arms. So notice how I'm like pinching the hand like that and I'm pushing it out from the inside. That's because I want it to be as pronounced as I can so that it's like sticking out just a little bit more. Okay, so now we are on actually our very last round of our piece before we add our eyes and our face and stuff like that. And for this last round, all we are going to be doing is adding a small frill to the end of our piece. Just like, see how it's got like this little frill at the end? That's all we're building. So to do our little frill, all we need to do is chain one, like that, yarn over and pull it through the loop, and then slip stitch into the front loop only. That is the most important part here. You want to work only into the front of these loops. So not under both of them like this. You only want to work into this first one right here. 
we're going to be using that back loop to sew everything closed at the end so we want to chain one and then slip stitch which i'll show you in just a second into this front loop only for a slip stitch we're going to take our crochet hook go into that front loop only just like that and then we'll yarn over and pull it through that stitch and then through the loop on the hook that is called a slip stitch it just makes a nice clean like very tiny stitch okay so we're going to repeat that process into every single stitch around so let's do it again chain one front loop only slip stitch front loop only and then slip stitch okay let's do it again chain one front loop only the easiest way to go through the front loop only i've noticed is poke up instead of poking down we're going to be poking up so go right from the bottom here poke straight up and it'll help you only get into that front loop and then slip stitch one let's keep doing that all the way around and hey if you need extra help um, here and you're having a difficult time with this pattern or any of our patterns um, you should consider oopsies I forgot to do a chain one between our slip stitch there there we go you should consider checking out our Facebook group or our Discord channel. You can find links for either one of them in the description below. Or join the live crochet along like our friends here in uh, the chat, which you can see right there. Um, they are all in our live crochet along, and that is also a great opportunity to come and ask any questions that you might have throughout either this pattern or, or any pattern that I make. Um, and I can help you live on video and show you how to actually uh, do any kind of crochet thing that you need help with it doesn't have to be necessarily um, help based on the crochet pattern that we're making live you can do any I can help you out with any crochet advice that you might need chain one and front loop only slip stitch one and that is going to be the end of our final round of our ghost and you kind of see how he's got this little I got this little skirt this little dress there Okay, the last thing we want to do is we want a somewhat long end. I would say about like that long right there. And we'll just cut the yarn. Um, that actually might even be more than we need. Cut the yarn like that and just pull it all the way through your stitch like that. And we're going to hide this end in in just a second. Um, before we do that, though, we need to start. We need to pull out our stitch marker because so, we don't need it anymore. And we need to add our face. Um, for our face you don't have a lot of room to work with the face here but there's still just enough room i find to add a really cute little smile and a little face so what we'll need first are our six millimeter eyes i'm going to be using our bottle of eyes here this is available in the shop if you want to get one but we're just going to need two of these eyes i'm using six millimeter because i find it's best i you can use smaller eyes you can also use larger eyes I would say larger eyes is kind of wild looking. It looks like, ah, you know, but you can do you. <laughs> um, we're going to be using six millimeter eyes today. So the first eye is going to go right next to one of these arms. So you can kind of see if you look at these arms, you'll see we have like a stitch like right here next to it. The eyes are going to go one up from that so that they're a little bit higher up. So I like to put one eye right here and then one eye right up, up, right there. So right here. In the written instructions, once I put the written instructions on the website, um, I will include like eyes go into this stitch and this stitch, but this is kind of being improvised. So it's a little bit, you know, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> okay, so the eyes will go right there. I actually kind of think it's really cute without the mouth, but we're gonna add a mouth in just a second. Before we add the mouth, we do need to lock the eyes in place. It can be a little tricky to get this locking mechanism on the eye because everything is just so small. But what I kind of find helps best is if you use your crochet hook and kind of like poke your eye up a little bit like that to angle it. And then you can kind of get the backing on there. It just helps just very slightly to get uh, the locking mechanism on the eye a little bit cleaner that and like that okay all right it's avocado i will try to make an avocado tutorial that is definitely something that is in the that will be in the works eventually um but not in this video 
All right. <laughs> Next up, we want to add a mouth. The mouth's actually really easy. You just need a little bit of a black thread. You don't actually need too much of it. Um, that's probably enough. If you don't have black thread, what you can also do is actually use yarn and split it. So for example, here's our blue yarn that we were using as a stitch marker that we don't really need anymore. What you can kind of do instead, if you have good yarn for this, is you can kind of split it into its various sections and just use one of these splits as your thread. Especially, this is especially apt with our cotton, uh, amigurumi cotton yarn, because it's made, each one of these are essentially one of these threads put together. So it's it's very, we, we use really, really high quality cotton so that it's split into different uh, little, um, they're called um, plies. Uh, this one's got a multi-ply thread. And so each one of these threads actually works as crochet thread uh, for adding embroidery like what we'll be using for the mouth but that's only if you don't have actual black thread uh, if you get any of our kits they do come with the black thread though so that works also um, okay so we're going to thread this onto our needle and I always just like to thread it onto the needle and then just twist the needle like this I don't sometimes people like to knot it I don't really think that's that necessary we're going to take the needle come out through the stitch just to the left or the right of the eye like one of these sides right here and there's, there are kind of like two ways to do this. Um, the way I like to do it is just come out, go right across into the opposite stitch on the other side right here, and then come down. And that's gonna create this flat little line, which already makes a pretty cute uh, ghost. But if you wanna make it more of a smile, you wanna come up with the inside of the needle in the stitch under that, so like right here. I actually find that if you can, it's a little tricky, but if you can, there's this little spot that's right above, you see where that black dot is? It's right above that black dot right here. If you can get through right there, it just makes the smile just that much cuter is what I've found. So I'm gonna take my needle, my thread came off, but it's okay. I'm gonna get my needle in position first. So see how instead of coming out right here, I'm gonna try to come out like that, like in the white above it. I think that's going to look a little bit cleaner. Okay, now that my needle's in place, go ahead and thread the yarn if I can. Oh, thank you, Amaze Feed in the chat. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going to pull it through like this. There we go. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go around the black bar like this. We want to take our needle, go just around that black bar, and then back into this same exact space that you came out with this black thread like that. This is going to pull the smile down into a, more of a V shape and more of an actual smile like that. And then all you need to do is just double knot these two ends on the inside and then you have got a little adorable smile. This is the smallest smile that I can make, um, or at least that I have made so far. Go ahead and double knot it like that. Okay, you can cut this or you can just stuff it up with it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it just nice and short there and throw that to the side. All right, the very last thing we wanna do for our little tiny ghost here is sew everything closed. Um, the best way to sew it closed, uh, obviously we're gonna stuff it as well, but um, sometimes I actually like to set it up to sew it closed and then stuff it. It's just kind of like, I don't know, just what I like to do. Um, there's a few different ways you can sew this closed, but I think the easiest way, just thread this end on a needle. And we're going to go first and make a what I call a hidden end, so that the end of our yarn here kind of looks like the end of the end uh, edge here. Um, this is just a way to make it less like this. So this is kind of a mistake I made where I didn't do this hidden end, and you kind of see he's got like a little ghost butt. It's kind of cute, but not really what I'm aiming for. Um, ghost butt, that could be a band name. Anyhow, we're gonna go around the outside of the next stitch in our piece. So we're gonna go around the back of it like this, under the two loops, just like that. And then we're gonna come out and go straight in through where this, this end is coming out of. So we're gonna take our needle, go right into where that end is here, and then go into the body and just into the back of a, just a few stitches. It really, you don't need to go through a lot. That's probably just fine. 
and then we're gonna kind of pull everything a little tighter. And that way it'll kind of simulate the end of the piece so it makes the end a little bit hidden. Once you're done, done with that, you're going to have all these back loops on the inside that we're gonna be using for sewing everything closed. Um, really quick before I do that though, let's stuff it just a little bit. The easiest way to stuff these uh, stuff these up is either using a, um, a, a pencil with an eraser or just a little stick will work too. You can use just extra thread. So we can just use our, our, um, our end from our stitch marker here, roll that into a little ball and stuff that into the body. The goal here though, is we're getting, trying to get above those little eyes. So we're gonna go into the body here I'm actually gonna use a little stick because I think it'll be a little bit easier than our pencil. And I'm just gonna stuff it in and try to get under the eyes like that so that it's above where the eyes are so that the head is actually stuffed up. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll stuff these little black threads in there too, just because that way we don't have to throw them away. You know, waste not, want not kind of thing. Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna roll it into a little ball here. If I can. Hello, BLK Rose. Thank you so much for finding us. BLK Rose says that they've been looking for this channel forever and how you lost it, you don't know. Well, you know what you should do? You should uh, go to the website and then add it to your homepage on your phone. That's what I think. All right, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this stuffing. Honestly, actually, this little bit of stuffing is probably all we really need. You do not need much stuffing for this, like really at all. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, now all we need to do is sew this closed. Sewing it closed can be a little bit tricky because we actually have more stitches than you'd think for sewing, uh, for using to sew it closed. If you count backwards from where this end is right here, you'll see all your stitches. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right here. Easiest way to sew it closed, I found, go in through the front of these back loops on the bottom and then come right out through the next one like this and we'll just keep weaving in and out once you do one you kind of just do it in one fell swoop though so you can kind of just go down and then poke your needle out like that okay so down and out like so Okay, down, oops, and then out. And by the way, if you're looking in the little screen there and you're looking at me right now and you're like, why is he all dressed like a Poindexter? I am currently in my Halloween outfit. Um, I am wearing, uh, I'm supposed to be Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. And I think I look pretty good. Uh, it really helps when I have my little, my little piranha plant. Oopsies, that fell out. Here's what the piranha plant looks like. Anyhow, I just want to show you that real quick. Okay, so we're pulling this out here, and now we've sewn through all those front, uh, all those back loops, right? You want to take this end, go straight into the middle, and come out where your tail end is. We're going to use that for double knotting these two ends together. Come out like that, and then we're just going to pull it really tight. You can actually kind of pull it tight from this side. Just pull, and you'll see how the hole just closes, and then pull it straight on the inside. I always like to hold this back part like that. Just grip that back part and then pull it tight. That way this back doesn't get locked in too. But you're just trying to get it closed enough. So that looks pretty good, pretty well closed. And then I'll just double knot these two ends together and we'll cut it nice and close and stuff it on the inside. So we're just gonna double knot, there's one and two like that. And we'll go ahead, cut it really close and then I just like using the end of my needle to help kind of stuff that knot back into the piece like that, like that. And then I just kind of like squish. I, I always like to skew the little, his little frill like that and maybe add a keychain or something. But that is how you crochet an ultra miniature ghost in less than 100 stitches and with no sewing at all all um uh okay so that is that is pretty that is pretty adorable 
Again, if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments down below. Check out the live streams, join the Discord or the Facebook groups. All of those would be great. Um, if you wanna check out more mini grooming patterns, I've got a whole bunch of other ones. Um, here, let me actually show you some on screen. We've got a bunch of miniature whales and stuff. Here you can see a little orca. Um, we have this little miniature goblin that we're currently working on. I'm actually testing it. So if you're looking to test out a new pattern, um, check that one out. Here, let's put it back on the autofocus. Um, we also have some miniature candy corns, which are really cute. We've got some miniature skulls, which I'm like absolutely obsessed with. These ones are only made in 40 stitches. It's like, they're crazy tiny. Here's a little pink one with a little loop for putting it onto like an earring or something. I'm obsessed with these ones for sure. Um, here, I'll put the little blue skull on screen. And then what else? We've got little, uh, squids and octopi. Anyhow, you can find all of those at clubcrochet.com slash mini gurumi or at mini um thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoy this video please consider liking and subscribing down below and now we're gonna jump back over to the live crochet along where we're gonna start crocheting another ghost uh and we're gonna vote on what kind of ghost to make um thanks again for watching pasta la pizza and happy hooking Bye. This is how I usually end. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me go ahead and cancel. Stop the recording. I hope that recorded well there. Um, we will find out after this. And before we get to our next part of the live stream, um, I just want to start by saying... Thank you so much for your patience if you're in the live stream. I know that wasn't probably what you came to the stream for, um, but I really, really appreciate your patience. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of like behind the scenes impromptu pattern. Uh, I just thought it was kind of a, f a fun little two birds with one stone kind of uh, thing to do. Um, but we have got more to crochet today. Um, before we go there though, I am going to Let's just, I'm just gonna take a quick little breather to kind of like regain myself just a little bit. We're gonna stare at my cat for just give me like three minutes. I just want some coffee and just to like blah, blah, blah. But before I do that, um, your first hint, it is time for your first hint for our giveaway. So again, if you want to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is use the link in the description and guess what amigurumi is under our giant ghost here. There is an amigurumi under here that I will be revealing on Halloween. But if you wanna guess what it is, you're going to have a few little, a few hints throughout this live stream. Your first hint, hold on, I wrote these hints down. Okay, that's not the right one. Which one is this? Ah, here it is. Your first hint, let's see, what, which one should be your first hint? Let's start, let's start with your first hint is, it is a mythical pattern, mythical. It doesn't, it's not a real creature in our world. It is a creature from something else, which should narrow it down a few answers in the questionnaire. Now, throughout this live stream, I'm going to give three more hints, and I promise you every hint is going to be more clear than the last to what is under this um, little ghost here, or big ghost, I should say. Okay, guys, I'll be back in just a moment. Let's go stare at my cat for a while, and uh, yeah, I just, I got to get some coffee in me and just get a little, 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 you know, get out of the tutorial mindset. Sometimes when I do these tutorials, I get like, I just kind of like rattle on my mouth kind of goes faster than my brain does so I kind of just want to slow my mouth down and my brain down just for a second and I'll be back in give me five minutes I, I think that's pretty reasonable in the meantime enjoy staring at my adorable sleeping kitty cat and thank you again for your patience
Okay. All right. Jimbo is getting a really great rest. Much needed. Um, okay, guys. Thank you so much for your patience there. Um, and thank you for going along with me for that mini Gurumi pattern. Um, I will be adding this to the written instructions uh, for the ghost at the end of this live stream uh, and over the weekend. And I'll prob my goal is to upload that as a secondary video uh, by... Um, tomorrow like tomorrow morning um, but thank you so much uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little impromptu pattern and yeah I think it was pretty fun right pretty fun pretty fun um, okay so we are currently voting on which ghost you want me to make uh, next so we're gonna be crocheting a whole nether ghost here and we're gonna be making um, uh, we're gonna be making a ghost of your choice so your choices are between a classic ghost but we'll customize it with like a special hat or something like that so different faces so this would be a classic ghost style um will or ghastly from pokemon which i actually don't have an example for here well, hold on i do i do this is what the ghastly kind of looks like yeah, so this one includes some like needle felting and some fun stitches. I haven't made one of these in a long time. Um, Boo from Super Mario Brothers is choice number three. Now that's the one I'm currently voting for, but you guys can do you. Um, I actually don't know where a Boo is right now, um, but you know, from Mario, the one that goes, hey, you get what I mean, Boo, you know, Boo. Um, so a Boo, which I think would be kind of fun, um, but you do you. And then the last one is Pinky from Pac-Man. So one of the Pac-Man ghosts is the is the fourth choice. So you guys choose which ghost you want me to make. It looks like uh, there's only been 16 votes so far. I think we'll go to like maybe 21 votes or something. Um, while you're doing that, I need to think. I just realized one of the hints that I had for my for what's under this ghost here is. Um, I don't have it like I don't I, I forgot to I forgot to write down the exact numbers here because one of the hints is like the stitch count for the pattern so let me do just some quick math here let's see let's see let's, let's see yeah we're gonna use that for our math so question is 18 times one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Times ten is one hundred and eighty. Okay, plus plus nine plus how many for that? Oh, one. Okay, so I think it's around. Cool. Okay, I just needed to write down that real quick just for a later hint. Okay, so what are we voting for here? What did we choose for our ghost? Let's go ahead and end our poll. It looks like we have made our decision. Oh yeah, we've totally made our decision. Okay, we are crocheting Boo 
from Super Mario Brothers. Okay, so here's what we need to do then. We need to start by pulling up the pattern for Boo and then getting all the colors we need. Now I know, I guarantee you, we're gonna need our white yarn. So white yarn is step number one. Um, I'm not gonna use the white yarn from the kit because I need other colors and I don't have uh, the right colors in the right type of yarn. So let me grab all this yarn that we need. We're going to need our maroon, white, um, where's our maroon yarn here? And pink. So we're definitely gonna need this. Sorry, one second. Sorry, I got discombobulated because I couldn't find this color. Okay, so we got maroon, white, pink, and we'll need just a small amount of black, but honestly, we can just use our thread for that. Right? Right. Cool. Cool, that's all we need. Awesome. Oh, all right. Things are going great, guys. Things are going A-OK. -okay. Hey, ho, oh, hey. All right. So let's crochet us boo. By the way, how is everybody today? How is your guys' uh, week going? Does anybody have any good Halloween costumes prep for this weekend? Going to any fun Halloween parties or anything like that? If so, let us know what your costume's going to be for Halloween. Mine, obviously, you can see it on me right now. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I make a pretty good Seymour. One, two, three, and four. All right, all right, all right. Now I haven't made one of these in years. Probably a year, I probably made one last year maybe. So I am relearning it right now with the written instructions. Shadowfire is going as an inflatable dinosaur. And they also ran out of white yarn. Ooh. Can't run out of white yarn. You can't run out of white yarn, Shadowfire. That stuff is gold with crochet. Okay, so we got our mouth, or our tongue rather. Next we need, um, oh yes. So we have an optional tail for this pattern where you can either sew the tail on or you can crochet the tail on using like, so it's like a no sew pattern. Let's go ahead and do the sewn on tail. I think it looks a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna go ahead and make our a, a tail that we can sew on to our piece instead of instead of just like crocheting it in. The song is very fun. Oh, you! Oh, Katrina's gonna go as a character from Don't Starve, a gloomer. That's super cool. Carolyn, oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support, Caroline. Caroline said that they're gonna get the starter kit. Is it Carolyn or Caroline? Let me know. Um, said that they're gonna get the starter kit. The brand new starter kit, you should get one too. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you for your support. I really hope you like it. I'm working on the, I've been working on the landing page all night last night, uh, and it looks so good to me. I'm getting like, really really good at building the landing pages for the kits so they just look like I just want them to look so clean and crisp so when you open them on your phone or on the computer or however you decide to look at the pattern it's like all put there very clearly I just want to make it as clear as possible so I'm really trying to put a lot of effort into the starter starter kit landing page um, okay work three Working in the back loops only for the first stitch. Increase one, okay. One. This part's really hard because it's just like so tiny. 
that it's really just kind of hard to see where your stitches go. Um, I don't know what difficulty I put on this pattern, but I would say this pattern is medium or hard, maybe even. I don't know. What do you guys think? Has anybody else crocheted this pattern? And if you have, what difficulty would you say this pattern is? Um, have I worked with metallic yarn before? Oh, I haven't, but I've kind of always wanted to. I've always wanted to make, um, uh, you know, armor. What's that called? Like, like chain mail. I've always wanted to make chain mail armor using crochet. I thought that'd be really, really cool. But I don't know. What else would you use metallic armor for? Or metallic, metallic yarn for? Because my immediate thought is like stuff to go on to like orcs. Like <laughs> make a make armor for orcs. Listen, I know how I'm dressed right now, and I know I'm saying a lot of nerdy things. Y'all have to just appreciate the fact that I am an ultra nerd in general, but especially today with my with my bow tie and like my actual tied bow tie that's not clip on. I'm ultra nerd. I'm in I'm in ultra nerd mode. Ask me about Pokemon, baby. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Last stitch here. It's just one single crochet and then a slip stitch. Perfect. Very itty bitty tail. Itty bitty teeny weeny. Zoe, Zoe is Zoe is making stuff for their local cafe. Wait, hold on. So he's making things for a local cafe. It's a rock cafe with the skull theme. So you're going to make a bunch of mini skulls. Hell yeah, Zoe. Dude, that is dope. What a cool... That's going to be super cool. They're going to love that. Also, you're going to love that because that's like really easy to make. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Also, what a cool cafe. That cafe sounds like pretty neat. Um... I really want to, the, the cafe near me actually asked if I wanted to start selling things there. And I was like, hmm, okay, let me think about it. Um, so I, I've been meaning to go back this week and bring a bunch of stuff and ask what, what kind of vibe they're looking for. Um, selling at cafes is, uh, is, that's a fun, that's a fun new thing that I've never done before. So, uh, Shadowfire, what is my favorite evolution? I think it's probably Umbreon. I really like Umbreon. They just look so cool. Um, I low-key really like uh, Flareon, but Flareon is weak as heck, so I also don't ever use Flareon. Um, let's see. I really also... I do like Glaceon. I would say one of those three. Jules' favorite is Eevee. You can't view the pattern. Kate says you can't view the pattern. Um, oh, have I ever made Boo that's covering its face? No, I don't think I have. Um, which pattern are you trying to view, Kate? Let's see if we can help you on, live on the stream. As I do this, uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever made one that's covering its face, actually. Flareon is a pet marshmallow. I know, right? Can you imagine cuddling with a Flareon? That'd be the best. Hi, Amara. How are you? I hope I said your name right. Amara. Amara. One, two. Okay. Leafeon is king. Yeah, Leafeon is super cute. Jules's favorite uh, is Eevee. She is obsessed with Eevee. Loves Eevee. Um, I think if she ever got an Eevee, she would never evolve it. And I'm always like, but the power <laughs> and Flareon, the cuddles alone. Yeah, I think Jules really likes Glaceon too, a lot. Um, and Espeon, she loves Espeon. Oh, we have, I forgot. Jules 2.0 is in the chat. That's interesting. My fiance's name is Jules. She's Jules 
You're the new and improved, Jules. <laughs> is the Yeti pattern supposed to be free, Louis? No, it's not, actually. Is it free? There's a few patterns on the site that I made free once upon a time, and then I always and then I forgot to make it not free anymore. And that, honestly, that could be one of them. Yes, absolutely, Katrina. Yes, please post your Flareon or your Evolutions plushies in your Discord. What what patterns did you use to make them? Did you write them yourself, or did you use like? Um, I know Sir Pearl Gray has some really cute uh, Eevee patterns. This music is so spoopy. You're not a member, you just joined. Um, cool, what, which pattern are you looking for? Are you looking for the ghost pattern? That one should be free on the site um, at just clubcrochet.com slash ghost. A lot of the patterns on the site is, uh, <laughs> we got Louis 2.0. Hey Louis 2.0, how you doing? <laughs> um, I hope your eyes are better than mine. I hope in my, I hope in our 2.0 version that they fix the eyes, and I want them to fix, um, fix that bug that we have in Louis 1.0 where you get eyelashes stuck in your eyes. I'm hoping that in in the new update they fix that, but we'll see. Uh, one, two, three. Am I on the right pattern? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Um. Yeah, the, the Yeti is not a free pattern, no. Um, I think... Tig, I think that the... I think Boo is not a free pattern either. Oh, shoot! They didn't fix the eye problem. Oh, well. Oh, well, maybe maybe in Louis 3.0, they'll, they'll fix the eyesight thing. I think you need the monthly subscription. Yeah, you probably do. Uh, it might be you might be able to purchase it individually as well. Um, you can always, Kate. By the way, you won't hurt my feelings. You can, if you want to, create a free trial on my website, get the pattern, and then cancel your free trial. You won't hurt my feelings. Uh, I'd rather you not. I'd rather you keep your membership. But I totally understand. Um, it is another way you can access this pattern right now if you want to. Um, but if you want to keep that membership going and support, I think it's worth the money. Uh, I come out with a lot of patterns. Every one of them has video tutorials and PDFs and everything. So, I don't know. Just saying. Just shouting that out there. We also give out memberships a lot in, like, giveaways and stuff. So, that there's always, there's always ways you can win a membership sometimes. Sometimes. Not always but sometimes I've got something really exciting prepped for December that I'm really really excited uh, me and me and my uh, one of my web designers has been working on and uh, you know I'll just I'll kind of tell you just for just for live stream people because you know this is there's not that many people that watch the live stream so we got kind of like a super close-knit crew here um, we're making an advent calendar on the website and it's so cute. I'm really, really happy with it so far uh, and I'm really excited to share it. So we're gonna do like new, we're gonna do like free patterns throughout December kind of. Uh, you didn't tag, thank you. Yeah, if you tagged me, you might've actually heard it on the stream. <laughs> so I'm actually kind of glad you did. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I will, um, Check that out after this, after the stream is up, because um, I do want to see the evolutions. I also, um, uh, I also forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a um, a new club crochet challenge soon too. So I've been working on that a little bit. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, eight, arm, and then we're gonna start using our maroon yarn. Okay, so eight, arm is just one. Okay. Let's do one and, oh, whoops. No, wait, that is right. 
chain three, slip stitch, half double crochet one. Got it. Okay. And then it's single crochet one. This looks like such a tiny little arm. Two. And then we're going to need our maroon yarn. I'm just going to use this because I don't actually have maroon yet with club crochet yarn. Um, it is one of the colors that I want to add in next year's uh, stuff. So my goal next year, by the way, if you're around and you're like, what are you planning for next year? Um, one big thing I'm planning for next year is doing a giant amigurumi um, kit. Uh, and with that, I'm probably going to do like some new colors of yarn and stuff. So we do have big plans for next year. Uh, that barring that this holiday season goes pretty well. <laughs> like I, I hope this holiday season goes pretty well. Um, okay. I, th I think what I'm going to do here, I think the way I make this is I'm going to cut this yarn pretty long because then we can use this to sew on the mouth and then we'll come back and add more yarn in a second. So we're going to do, I think it's just five stitches for the mouth. Yeah. One, two, four, and five. And then we'll go like this and I'll do just a little bit extra here for double knotting. I'll leave that to the side. Boom. How many stitches between before I do another arm? Two. Cool. Glow. Oh, I should have used glow in the dark yarn. I do have glow in the dark yarn, actually. So, yeah, that would be really cool. Um, do we send out stuff uh, um, internationally? Uh, good question, Jules 2.0. Yes, we do. Uh, we do send out internationally. So we ship out all across the world. You'll check out other patterns first. Thank you and have fun at your party night. Oh, thank you so much, Kate. I hope you enjoy the patterns. I really do. Uh, I spend a lot of time on them. So I really hope you enjoy, uh, yeah, crocheting some stuff that I'm designed. You haven't seen any? Let me, Um, I do have some. I actually can see it right there. I really should have done this in Glow in the Dark Yarn. Maybe we'll make another one of these in Glow in the Dark Yarn, actually, because they're really quick to make. Or maybe we'll do just like a classic ghost using Glow in the Dark Yarn. The problem is, like, you can't really see it. You know, like, it's not, like, visually. Uh, it's It's kind of hard to, like, show off Glow in the Dark Yarn on this. Um, okay, so we want 11 to get to the first arm. So that's one, two, four, eight. We're going to skip the arm and go nine. Oopsies, that's a little loose. There we go. This is, so someone said this is from Stardew Valley. Interesting. And 10 uh, and 11 will be right here. And then we want two in pink, which I have on my shoulder. Dude, Carolyn, you also bought a under the sea kit. Thank you so much. Wow. Like you single handedly today have already like completely supported. Um, oh, shoot. I'm supposed to work in the back loop. Oh, OK. No, we're good. Um, you already have like single handedly like supported this channel. So thank you so much, Caroline. I really, really, really appreciate it. One. Is this only really two stitches? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to go maroon and then pink. Okay. Let's try this again. Maroon first. You live in New Zealand. So like that. Oops, supposed to change colors. Change to maroon. Like that. And then we'll do one single crochet in maroon. 
I'm gonna leave this white to the side. This part's a little complicated. Oh my god, I haven't been on screen the whole time. Why didn't everybody tell me? Okay, sorry. I don't mean to be off camera. One, change to pink, and then work in the back loops and just do two in pink. One, and two in pink, and then do I go back to maroon for one? And then one in maroon. What a maroon! And then go back to white. And then we're gonna cut this and leave these here. And I think I'm done with those colors actually. And we'll just go back to single crocheting. Uh, and then before we do our next round, I need to add our teeth. And I believe that was our last stitch. I think I just found a goof in the pattern actually too. I did. So I'll have to go back into this pattern and fix uh, something. Um, why are some DK yarns bigger than other? You know, I found that yarn weights are kind of like, I don't know. They're, they're kind of like, depends on the, the company. Like sometimes companies are like, yeah, this is DK weight yarn. When really it's like, yeah, this is not DK weight yarn. <laughs> or like, it's just, it's just barely like you can almost like consider it DK weight or worsted weight. So yeah, that's, I don't know. That's just something I've noticed. Um, we're going to use a little bit of this black thread for the eyebrow of our boo. Um, and we also still need to do another, I need to do another hint for our giveaway. Let me, um, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do a hint for the giveaway. Hint number two for our giveaway. Um, hint number one was that it is a mythical creature. Pretty good hint. I'm not going to lie. Hint number two is going to be the stitch count. This pattern uses around 100 or 195 stitches. I think like it might be a little bit more. So I'm going to say, uh, let's go 200 stitches. It's around 200 stitches for this entire pattern. You, there's like some ifs, like depends how many things you want to add and stuff like that. But it's around 100 or 200 stitches for this pattern. And it's a mythical pattern. We're guessing what pattern is under this ghost right here. So go ahead and guess now in the, um, in the form or wait for a little longer and I'll give you some more hints. Um, it's not first come first serve. It's just, if you're right, you're gonna be in a pool of people that are right. Um, am I in Canada? No, I'm not. I'm actually in, uh, I'm in California. Uh, I'm currently in Ventura County, which is kind of near LA. Okay, now I believe that the I here goes into this stitch right here. He always looks so weird before I put the eyebrow on. It looks like, what is wrong with you, buddy? You know, pretty sure it's right there. Actually, that looks kind of far. Let's look at the. Let's look, let's look. Go to the pictures. Oh, actually the eye goes into, looks like it goes into this stitch with four in between. So this stitch and then one, two, three, four, and then that stitch. Okay, so it actually goes in between this stitch, it looks like. Let's try that. How many years have I been crocheting? I have been crocheting for over half my life. Um, 16 years now, I think. 15 or 16, something like that. Quite a long time, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and split the stitch real quick to make it a little bit easier for us. Just like that. I'm pretty sure this is where the eye goes. I don't remember. Uh, and I don't really wanna pull up the video tutorial right now. All 
though. That would be helpful. Yeah, so I think it's like that. Is that correct? And then the other one down there. It always looks so weird without the teeth and the eyebrow, though. Pretty sure it goes right, and then one, two, three, four, and then it goes like right here. Or does it actually go like in the, does it go like here? Maybe it goes like that. No, 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 that can't be right. That can't be right. You know what, let me, let me find one. And I have a bunch of them somewhere. Actually, I might've given them to a friend. Yeah, maybe I don't have any more. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna have to figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. Then in that case, we are gonna, we're just gonna quickly pull up the part of the pattern where we're doing the face. I believe it'll be right here. Okay, this is what I wanna know. Where do I put the eyes? Cause I can't remember. This is Zelda music, yeah. Okay, how do I do this? Wait, what? Hold on. Where? How did I? Oh, I do the whole face first. And then I add the eyes. Okay. Got it, that's my problem. Okay. All right, let's get back to this. Oopsies, I screwed that up. Okay. Um, What do I ever do for your eyes, etc. if you're making a toy for young children? Um, I either like to embroider on eyes for young children or um, you can also glue these eyes in to make it like extra secure. Um, and you can also like sew on eyes. You can use like a, uh, like needle felted eyes or crocheted eyes and then sewn on. Um, there's like a decent amount of options for you if you really want to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think those are probably the best options currently. Um, usually if the kid's like, you know, over three, it's not a problem. Like they, we, they, they're fine with safety eyes. Um, but yeah, embroidery eyes using a tapestry needle. Yeah, what what Erica uh, El Elka said. Yeah. How do I do the chat with you and crochet at the same time? You can barely breathe and crochet at the same time. <laughs> practice a lot of practice plant. Uh, I, yeah, I just do a lot of these live streams. Um, I definitely have not always been able to do this. Uh, I've just found that, yeah, consistently doing it. I've started to realize that the part of my brain that is using um, my hands and doing crochet is completely a different side than the side that's using my like vocabulary and making words. I think that's how I do it, but honestly, I don't know. I get that question every now and then, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just kind of lucky that I can, I think. Um, all right, well, let's do, we're gonna start with our tongue. So the tongue on first, and then we'll add the teeth and the lips, and then we'll add the, uh, we'll finish up by adding the uh, eyes. Let's try this again. Where do I keep all my crochet? Cause you don't know what to do with yours uh everywhere this is my i call this the rainbow room this is my office basically and uh it is everywhere i've got um literally all over the room like just on every surface there's something crocheted 
And then there's also, I have three giant buckets that are actually currently under the table here, like right under this. Um, there are three big buckets of crochet that I do, that I use. Um, those ones are not very well, well organized. And then in those are like on top of those buckets, I also have little bags of crochet and those ones are more clearly organized. Like my Christmas crochet are in there and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you don't know what to do with yours, gifts, gifts, hardcore gifts. I bring a crocheted gift with me at pretty much every event I go to. I'll bring like something crocheted just to give to someone because I just, I have so much crochet. Where do I get my inspiration? Ooh, that is a great question. Um, it comes from all over the place, whether it be like books that I've read or just like random ideas wait one two three four okay got it um random ideas that i'll have um uh i get inspired a lot from video games um and that goes for like a lot of different parts of my um my process comes from video games whether that's like the gamification of my website so i don't know how much you can tell but i really uh like i try to like gamify the side a bit where it's like you know if you crochet this then you get this and stuff um so anyhow a lot of video games give me inspiration um yeah i think those are some relatively good answers uh books some books i don't read that much but when i do read they are very inspiring i hate that tooth that i just sewed on so we're gonna do that one again um yeah, those are all pretty inspiring. Um, art, just in general, um, cartoons. Uh, I love Adventure Time, and I'm very inspired by things like, like styles like that are always very inspiring to me. Um, let's see, what else gives me inspiration? My fiance gives me a lot of inspiration. She always has good ideas. Um, my big problem right now is I have too many ideas. Uh, well, right now. If you've been following along, you know, you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you'll know that is definitely a big issue of mine, is that I have more ideas than I do time. Always. So I always have something else that I'm like, oh, wait, I should do that. Okay, okay, I need to finish this in order so so that I can do that. Um, just because, like, I just get so many ideas. They, they, they rush to me at 3 a.m. In, in the morning. Um, I'm inspired most often early, early, early in the morning. That is my number one time for inspiration is, like, 3 a.m., um, like early in the morning, meaning like before I go to bed early. Uh, that's usually the prime time for inspiration. Okay, what do we think of those teeth? I think those are pretty good actually. I was gonna like double it up and like make them a little bit cleaner, but I actually think those look pretty good. Um, so now I'll do the lip. Because this pattern you need to like embroider on the top lip too, which just kind of makes it a little bit cleaner. You just go through all these front loops here and it just, it kind of just makes the top lip a little bit more, I don't know, lippy. Does my fiance crochet as well? She does crochet a little bit. Uh, recently she started crocheting. Um, mostly she's a knitter though. She She's a knitwear designer actually. Um, she goes by um, Knit by Jewels on Instagram if you want to check her out um, but yeah she's usually making knitwear designs and um, she's a very very good knit knitter like really really good um, but she has been crocheting recently she's been doing uh, she just made a, a shirt she's actually crocheted things that I never ever like have made in my life um, so she's made she made a shirt a sweater the other day um she was working on a like like a cardigan the other day i've never made i i just never make wearables i always make amigurumi so i definitely want um 
She's gonna start doing more designs for the site eventually too, which is gonna be kind of fun. Cause I wanna start, I wanted to start ha including like crochet tutorials for how to make like, um, you know, how to make like clothes and stuff. But I don't know how to do that. And so once she started really getting into that, I was like, oh, how about you do it? She was like, okay, will you pay me? And I was like, Club Crochet will pay you. Um, let's see. We're gonna go right here. Like that. Oh, that looks pretty good. One, two, three. Yes, that's where the eyes go. Okay, see, that made it a lot easier. Um, all right, next we want to add our eyebrow in here. I'm thinking this will be thick enough for our eyebrow, but if we need to, we can use some thick yarn instead um, after we do this part. So I'm gonna go up through, I believe it's like here, like that. And then I think the process is you go around the outside like this and then around the outside like that. You know what, let's go ahead. I'm gonna lock these eyes in place before I do this part. Lock it and lock it. Teeth are good and pointy. Thanks, Tig. Tig. What are the tagged products in the bar below the description? So those are our kits, um, our patterns. So those are just like some of the patterns and kits that I have available um, for sale. Uh, thank you for asking. Um, they're a great way to support this channel, obviously. And uh, yeah, they get shipped out very, very quickly. I've got a new um, company that helps me ship stuff out that uh, should be extremely helpful going forward. Uh, and so, yeah, I have, they're, they're just my Shopify. Um, you can buy them from our website also if you'd like to, but you can also get them just via the Shopify uh, on the YouTube channel. Um, either way though, it supports the channel. Okay, where, oh, where does the middle of this eye go, or eyebrow go? I think it goes like right here. So one, two, and then one, two. So yeah, it should be like right here. And then we'll do the same from the opposite side. I think I might need to reapply where that one is. Because, well, this might work. Like, right, let's see. Right, let's just go into the body first. So we got half our eyebrow on. That actually, that is pretty good. You know, if I can duplicate that on the other side, I think that'll work. Why is it focusing on the wrong stuff right now? There we go. So I'm thinking we go up through here and try it. And I think we might need to move the first eyebrow to match this one, but we'll see. What am I sewing on right now? Aha, I see. Gotta be careful of that. Accidentally sewing in ends that I don't want to sew in yet. That's pretty good. I'm gonna switch the song because I know I'll get copyright stricken for it. We're gonna go to here. Actually, let's go to... Yeah, that's nice. Nice and chill music. Badoo. Some Animal Crossing music up in here. Okay, I don't know if this eyebrow, I think this eyebrow might need to be over further, but let's find out. We need to get around the eyeball though. Yeah. See, like this needs to go under it, so I kind of tightened it a little early. Yeah, okay, this part needs to be just one stitch over, I think. We're gonna go actually through the middle of this stitch, like that. Let's try that. And then I think we'll, we might just have to alter the first one to match. Like that. And then 
then go back through this center part and then we'll just double knot this two ends together. Once I make sure that the other side of the eyebrow is matching it. That's why I don't lock the eyes in early because I don't usually like it. Wait, what? No, 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 that wasn't supposed to go like that. There we go. Okay, how does that look? That's pretty good. This, in, this center part is kind of weird, but I think it's just because this part is loose. Like I think if I get this stitch pulled in more like that, it might make a better arc. Yeah, just like that, perfect. And then this one, so this is where we need to make the fix, is do we need to fix this other side or not? Eh, maybe not actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, we're gonna call that. And we're just gonna double knot these two ends. So I earn product commissions from the tag products. No, uh, um, normally that is the case, um, is that I earn commissions from the tag products, but those ones are actually my products. Um, so what other YouTube channels can do is they can tag my products there and then they earn a commission on products that are tagged. But for me, those are my products. So I actually earn 100%. Uh, it's not even a commission rate. It's just all, all goes to the channel. Thank you for asking though. That's good. You have good questions. Um, yeah. Um, have I ever made any crocheted books? Uh, Tig, I have technically not. I've made like my own uh, ebooks and stuff, but I've never made one in print yet. But I will give you a little hint, Tig. Next year, we're getting uh, we're getting big in the uh, in the book game. Um, yeah, I've got I've got I've actually got two, at least at least two next year. So yeah, we're currently working on a couple of them. Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, and I'll obviously, I'm gonna keep you updated for sure. Um, yeah. Okay, back to the body. Uh, I just did, that was round eight. So now I'm on round nine. So the last few rounds are just sewing, finishing it up. Okay, that's easy enough. Um, I believe we're just gonna be using invisible decreases. Yes, okay. And then I'll just have to sew on the tail at the end. But I think that'll work pretty well. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining, by the way. I really appreciate just how sweet and kind the live stream is and how you guys are just always there to just be great. And I just appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining. Um, thank you for crocheting along with me. Thanks for making my patterns. Thanks for being a club crochet member. If you are, um, for supporting, if you're like tipping, if you did like, seriously, thank you so much to everybody. Um, this has been a very, very fun Halloween, uh, season so far. So I'm very excited to see how the rest of our holiday hooks season goes. Um, but I can't believe October's already almost over. Can you believe that? It's, I feel like it just happened. I'm like, no, it's already Halloween. No, but Halloween's my favorite. <laughs> and then now we're gonna have to wait a whole nother year. But uh, Christmas is right around the corner. So there's that at least. I'm very excited for Christmas. Do I have a website uh, where you share videos or do I keep it mostly on YouTube? Um, actually, everything that we do, Elka, is pretty much all on our website, clubcrochet.com. That is, um, that's my website that I pretty much put everything on there. Uh, there are, I think there's four times as many tutorials on the website as there are on our YouTube channel. So there's, I think we're pushing 300 different tutorials on the site. So if you like what you 
see on our YouTube channel, I highly suggest you check out the website. You can create a free account if you'd like to um, without even doing a free trial, just like a free account. And then that'll already give you access to, I think like an additional like 20 something patterns on the site. Uh, and then if you have a membership on the website, which helps support monetarily the site, uh, you get access to the entire library of tutorials, which is, you know, a lot more. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything on the website, there's a lot more on the website is if you want to make more patterns. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing this fella up just a little bit. Um, obviously, we still need to sew it closed and finish up one last round, but we're actually, we're actually almost done here. And after I sew this closed and before I sew the tail on, um, we do wanna do another hint for our giveaway. Thank you, XO, XO. Hi, how are you, Gabby? How is your day going? Okay, it's pretty good. Uh, we'll stuff it up a little bit more in a second. There's a few more stitches to do though. There's one. two and you know what we might end up trying today if i have enough time i might end up doing a little itty bitty version of our goblin pattern just because it's a fun little one and it might be a, a good way for me to test out my own pattern you know and maybe along with some of you guys too okay four I think this is my last stitch, which means we just need to sew it closed. And we'll be done. Okay. Count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're good on stitch count. Get that closed. All right, let's stuff this guy closed. We have some like tweaking to do because it's so tiny that the stitches kind of got pulled in in a weird way. So we might need to do some slight alterations. Um, do I put stuffing or fiber fill? Yeah, so we're gonna we're, we're using fiber fill today. All right, Katrina, thanks so much for joining. Have a great night and happy Halloween. I'll see you next live stream. Also, happy birthday? Was Is it your birthday, Katrina? I can't remember. I think it might have been next time. Oh, dude, thanks. Gabby, I'm so glad that I, we made your day a little bit a little bit brighter. I hope your day is as wonderful as you are. I think that's such a good thing to say. I hope your day is as wonderf wonderful as you are, uh, is a wonderful way to either say, you're great and I hope your day is great, or you're a jerk and I hope your day is bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, so usually if I have like, if I'm on the phone with someone and they're being like extremely rude to me, that's how I'll end my call. I hope your day is as Nice as you are. <laughs> it's a great way to just be like, change your attitude and be nicer so that your day is nicer. <laughs> that's pretty good. Actually, that's like really good. I really like that. I mean, obviously we still need to add the tail, but as far as like, character goes pretty good um, I'll just do a little bit more stuffing just for safety by the way next live stream uh, is gonna be not next Friday but the Friday after we're good we're doing a week off um, so that I can get the patterns prepared for the next week. Um, but then after next week, the next stream will be, I believe it's November 10th is the next planned stream. And we're going to be doing uh, our brand new uh, mystery pattern. So it'll be a new pattern that's going to be actually on the website um, by Monday or Tuesday. We've got a new pattern coming out. 
uh, which I'm really, really happy with. It's kind of a combination pattern. It's like a bundle of two different patterns. Um, I actually showed it in the last live stream, so maybe I'll just show it to you right now. Let me go ahead and pull this close real quick, and I'll show you the next pattern coming out very, very, very soon. It's almost all ready to go. It's just I need to finish up some of the links and stuff on the video, but it's almost ready to put onto the website. Um, the new pattern is, uh, and don't worry, I know our character's not done yet. Um, this is the newest pattern that's coming out very soon. Where's the bottom part of it? Hold on. Hold on. For some reason I can't find the bottom of it. But it is a little, uh, it's a turkey leg with an actual crochet bone that's in it. So the bone actually is also on the inside. Man, I swear I have one somewhere. Oh, here it is. It was just behind something. See? So it's a new pattern for how to crochet a little bone, which I thought would be super duper cute for like uh, pet toys and stuff like that. I mean, look at how cute that is. Also, this is the coolest part about this new pattern that's coming out next week, is that um, uh, it's no sewing. All you need to do is sew this closed. It's actually made all in one piece. So you just go up and then sew it closed. It's, I'm super duper proud for this design. I think it's really cute. And to make it even better, I made it so that it's actually also a turkey leg. So you, you make this turkey leg part that goes on top, which also is no sewing. So you, this whole pattern is made without any sewing together. It's crazy. I'm so, so proud of it. This pattern is coming out on Friday. I mean, our, our early next week. Um, yeah, so it should be, should be coming out early next week. So I'm, I'm just super proud of it. I'm really excited about it. Thank you, Gabby. Yeah, I know, right? It's like super cute. I also made a very itsy bitsy bone just to see if I can. Um, and I really liked it a lot, but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to come out with this tutorial in time uh, to go with the big one. Uh, but I just thought, you know, it's kind of cute. Um, okay, next, uh, before I sew the tail on, we need another hint for our giveaway. So under this ghost, I'm gonna keep, make sure they're in there fully. Under this ghost is a crocheted critter of some sort. You have to guess what the crochet is under the ghost. And um, you can enter to win a free seasonal crochet kit. You actually win a gift card to the website, but you can use it for a new, um, the new starter kit rather I should say. Um, by the way, if you'd like to support this channel and you've got a friend in your life that you've always wanted to teach how to crochet, get our brand new starter kit. You can find links uh, down below. Elko was just actually talking about the links down below. Um, so uh, the hints so far that we've given are that it is a mythical creature. Um, on the form, by the way, where you're gonna enter to win, there are uh, like 20 choices to choose from. So yeah, you, you just have to get it right. Um, so it's a mythical creature. It's around 200 stitches, give or take, total. Um, and then these last two hints are going to be really the good hints. Um, the first hint is that there are, you sew on teeth or tooth. You sew on a tooth or multiple teeth onto this pattern. So tooth or teeth get sewn onto this pattern. There are only a few patterns on that list that have teeth that are sewn on. So honestly, if you take those hints already and put them uh, and put some critical thinking into it, I think you can get the answer right already. There's gonna be one more hint at the end that I'll give even a little bit more um, to, to really solidify it. Um, if you know what it is, just say, I know what it is. Uh, and, but don't, don't spoil it for anybody else. Yeah. Oh my gosh, really? Elko, I did a collaboration with you? Elko, what? Is that true? Really? What's your main channel, Elko? I am Louis Loops, by the way. That is me. I'm Louis. Um. Elka Crochet.
That is super cool. What was our collaboration? I don't... I, I'm so sorry. What was your main channel, though? Um, but that is me. I am Louise Loops. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Um, we just need to sew on the tail, and then we'll give... A, we'll do our last hint, and then that's gonna be... Oh, that's right. I, I did kind of want to crochet a goblin, because we're actually under time right now for the live stream, so I have a little bit more... Um, a little bit more time. I mean, I don't have to, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to try out our new testing pattern live with you guys. Just to see how it goes. Um, but I'm definitely looking for feedback. Um, oh my gosh, you're Crochet Geek! Wait, hold on, hold on. You mean Geeky Crochet? Crochet Geek. Wait, what were the numbers you put there? TJW1963? TJW. Hmm. I don't know, I can't find you. Do you not have a YouTube channel anymore? Where, where's your channel? What's your channel? Are you? Oh, you deleted. You deleted your crochet channels. Why did you delete? Oh, I'm sorry that that happened. Um, okay. You haven't had your channel since 20. Oh, well. Um, hello again, Elka. Was there a reason that you deleted everything? From one, uh, creator to another? I'm just very curious. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that'll work. Um, just crochet was not working. I get that. I totally get that. It is definitely a hustle. It is not like for the faint of heart. <laughs> no, but really, it, it, it is a, a consistent thing that I have been doing forever. I, uh, I can't stop it now. I can't stop. Won't stop. No, but really, it is like my favorite thing in the world. So I probably will never stop. I'll go, go to my grave with a crochet hook in my hand. Okay, that's fair, Elka. Um, well, thank you for saying hi. Um, someone said, someone asked a question. Da, 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 da. Oh, where do I get my ideas? Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I always assumed my like creative muse was a woman. But I don't know what that means very much. I just know that she talks to me at like 3 a.m. And she goes, hey, I got this crazy idea. And I'm like, yeah, I'm here for it. What's your crazy idea? And she's like, dude, what if you crocheted this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. And then I just do it. So I just listen to the little voices in my head, which probably isn't the best advice for people, but works for me pretty well. They give me, or it's they, it's one, my little voice in my head gives me good ideas. <laughs> yeah, what did we collaborate with? All right, that, there's our little ghost tail sewn on. I actually am pretty happy with where that's sewn on. I do wish I stuffed it a little bit, but I kind of forgot it. I kind of forget it. Oopsies. Um, is the pattern out for the mini ghost, Koshandro? Uh, it will be right after the stream. I actually just did the video tutorial in this live stream. So it's brand spanking new. 
Yeah. Brand spanking new. Um, I'm, but I will be getting it in, onto the website after this stream. There we go. Okay, I believe that is going to be the end of our little boo. And I am pretty happy with that. The eyebrows aren't staying where I want them to, so I might need to just, like, do some tweaking there. But that's pretty great, I think. Got this little tongue out. Got a little tail. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. I'm going to give this as a gift to a trick-or-treater this year, I think. What do we think about that? Tina! Oh my god, Tina, thank you so much for your support! Thank you, Tina! We're going to add... Let's see. We need to add something to the background for Tina. Let's go with... We're going to go with a little tiny dolphin. Our little new from our new mini Gurumi patterns, a little a little dolphin to add to the pot at the end of the stream. We got two cyan creatures here. Um, okay. Oh, I just realized they haven't been on camera all the time. Uh, and let's put these away. So the last thing I want to do today, before we're done with our stream, is. I want to make another, uh, I want to make a micro goblin, our mini groomy goblin here. Um, so we need to pull up that pattern. Goblin. So if you want to test this pattern out with me right now, it's a new mini groomy pattern that I'm working on um, where we're making a very itty bitty goblin. Um, honestly, the easiest way to find the pattern, if you want to test it out, you do need a membership level account in order to test this pattern out. Um, but if you want to find it really easily, go to the website, search, hit the search button and search for uh, goblin. And it's going to be, it has like a red background and it says mini Gurumi goblin preview pattern. You will need a membership level account in order to access this pattern. Um, so just heads up there and it is a rough draft. It is not ready to go which is what we're doing right now. We are testing it out live on screen. Um, but I'm also looking for feedback. So if you have feedback as we go here, any parts of the written instructions that you think could be better explained or that you had a hard time with, let me know in the comments of this preview pattern. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab some yarn. Um, we're gonna need green and brown. And then just our the tiniest bit of white. Um, so I'm going to use our green, main green yarn here. Uh, it's pretty much all green now. Go ahead and put our ghost to the side. And let's test this pattern out. Okay, so there's a high likelihood that this pattern is written in properly, <laughs> not correctly. So let's see if that works. Um, all right, we're going to start green, magic loop. And I remember that you do want the magic loop to be really long because I remember I haven't crocheted one of these in a few weeks. So it's going to be pretty fresh for me too. But I do remember you want a pretty long end because you're actually using the tail end for the mouth. So let's see how this goes. Um, I won't be doing the tutorial in this video because the tutorial is not ready. You know, like I need to test it out before I actually come out with the, the actual instructions for this pattern. But... Um, but yeah, can you make this with the seasonal kit? Um, you could if you used the forest green yarn as your green instead of sage green. Um, you could make this with the kit. Yeah. Uh, the problem is that you'd have to make it with like this, this like basically this darker green instead. Because this green is not included in our current crochet kit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's it. Eight. Okay. Um, all right, uh, next up is round two. Now I still, even though it is a preview pattern, I did put in the pattern like all the check marks and stuff. So hopefully that's a little bit helpful as we go here, but we'll find out. 
one. I love these new micro patterns, these mini Gurumi patterns. They are so inspiring to me. Very inspiring patterns. Let's see, one, two. Looks like we got three. Oh yes, I remember now. And then we do the ear in between two stitches. Yes, I remember. I wrote this pattern, by the way, in a park in New York on my vacation. And I was like, I wonder if I could do this. And Jules was like, you should try it. And then I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> I was obsessed. I was obsessed. Um, slip stitch, single crochet, okay. I made like five of them while I was at that park. Cause I was like, oh my God, oh my God, how cool is this Jules? And she was like, yeah, it's really cool. And I was like, no, you don't get it. We could have like mini stitched. And she was like, oh God, oh God, here he goes again. <laughs> okay, so it's like that. And then it's one here. And then the nose, how the heck do I make the nose? Okay. So it's kind of like this. And then And then And then do another one of these. So two. And then yarn over and pull through all. Oh, look at that. Gosh, you know, sometimes I impress myself where I'm like, how is that going to make a nose? But it does make a nose. Yeah, it's a little crooked. It kind of like angles it to the left, which is a little frustrating. So maybe I'll put some effort into changing that, but we'll find out. It's not too bad, though. Not too bad. Okay, let's keep going. After doing the nose, we do one. And then there's the whole eye part. I'm gonna pull that a little tighter and then loosen it. I'm just trying to close the hole in the top here. So this one's gonna be one and then I'll do another ear. One, two, three. Oh, dude, Gabby, thank you. Happy hooking. I hope you keep on crocheting on. Now, here, you can kind of tell that right now I'm having a very difficult time doing multiple things at once, checking the chat and crocheting this because I haven't crocheted this before. Or I have, but it's just been a long time. And it's a complicated pattern. I think that's right. Okay. And then next, now we're in... Nose. Okay. Okay, and then work into the back loop only. Okay. Okay, so we leave this loop here. And then I do, huh, okay. It's fun, it's like I'm it's like I'm crocheting a pattern I've never made before, even though I'm the one that made it. I'm like, how is this gonna work, dude? But let's find out. It's so tiny that you can't even like, it's just hard to, yeah. Um, and then when we get to the nose, we wanna work into the back of it. Oh, I remember why I do that. So the reason you work into the back loop there is because if you worked into both loops, it creates like this hole in the nose just based on how you make it. And it just kind of like messes up the hole. Uh, it just leaves a hole, basically. I go like that. Boom. Okay. And then we're going to make the next round. We're making the arms. I'm going to go ahead and pick his nose just a little bit so that it sticks out a little further. Um, okay. So next we've got all two. And then we're gonna do our arms. And I'm gonna use the same, I'm gonna do the, I make the arms in the same way that I made the arms for the um, the ghost. 
It's kind of like two double crochets put together into one stitch, like that. And then there's, yeah. And then after this, we do the face. Now the face is tricky on this pattern for sure, because it's kind of like embroidering on a face, like in just a few stitches. It's just, you know, there's just like nothing to work with here. There's like barely any stitches to work with. So making a, a face that looks good is kind of tough. Okay, and then that's actually technically the last stitch. I'm just going to do one more just to get away from that arm a little bit. Like that. Pull it out. And then now we add our face. So I'm going to pinch that nose a little bit more. Um, I don't remember the process here. Do I do back over to the opposite arm? Okay, so first we add this part. So we'll grab our needle. that and then it goes up from one side yeah we'll go from this side and then over to the other side like that okay cool we're gonna crochet around this for the next part before I do that work around this tail end in my next round to secure. Okay. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> it's like, it's like making a puzzle. One and two eyes. And then this. Or like making a bunch of Legos. It's just every, when, when every single stitch is like so important, and like move, messing one stitch up kind of messes the whole thing up. It's very like, ooh, be careful, you know? I don't know, just kind of fun. Um, okay, eyes on either side of the nose. All right, easy, squeezy. That's a pretty simple one, like that. And like this, right? Okay, those are some pretty cute eyes. We'll add, we'll lock those eyes in place. Ow. I totally agree with that, Elka. Uh, it is very disheartening when you make videos and then like trends change and then like you lose, you just don't get views anymore. I totally get that. Um, that's actually why I made Club Crochet rather than kept doing things on Louis Loops was because uh, I realized that people were confused about what kind of content I made on Louis Loops. Um, people were like, okay, are you making like crochet videos or are you making like art videos? And then so people wouldn't watch the crochet videos, but they would watch the videos where I did art things. And then eventually the algorithm just stopped giving people any suggestions at all because they were like, well, your people aren't watching you anyhow. So that's when I created Club Crochet and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to create a channel that's specifically about teaching how to crochet to just, you know, make it obvious. Uh, and it worked really, really well. So if you want to get back into YouTube, Elka, that's my suggestion. Make it all about one thing. Don't don't make it about multiple things. Um, that's what really worked for me. Um, okay, so now I'm going to add teeth. Uh, who is my favorite character right now from video games? Um, probably, I really, really, really like Pikmin. I am a Pikmin boy. Um, I like it a lot. But my favorite character that I play in a video game is Yoshi. Um, I play Super Smash Brothers a lot and I really like playing as Yoshi. So I'm adding a tooth now. The trick with the teeth on this pattern, and I know this isn't a tutorial, is that you wanna go through the actual inside of that yarn to make it look like the tooth is actually in the mouth. Um, and I will do that in the video tutorial for this eventually too. And then I just go through the top of this stitch, right? Oop this the teeth are probably the hardest part of this pattern and really the hardest part for me to explain in the pattern so the video tutorial is going to be really really helpful 
when it comes to this pattern uh, for explaining things like teeth and stuff. Um, but I'll go ahead, I'll just do both teeth here with the same yarn. Sometimes I like to like cut it and do it again, but I'm just gonna... See what I mean? See how I'm like going through the center of this yarn? Let's see if I can, there. See how I'm like in the center of that yarn? Just makes it a little bit easier to, uh, to sew it in on. There we go. Like that. Yeah, those are the little teeth. That's pretty cute. Hey, look, that's coming together pretty well, you guys. Right? So far, the written pattern seems to be working. It's a hard pattern, but it does seem to be working so far. Um, okay, so we got our face on. And now I need to do... What is after this? Now I just need to do a round of single crochets. Easy squeezy. Oh, I remember what I did for this pattern was like the last thing I did was like, okay, how am I going to make it so that the pants are sewn on? And then I tried doing, because I didn't want to actually like sew on the pants because the rule for mini gurumis is that there's no sewing together. Um, like that, what I just did, like the embroidery and stuff, I think is fair because um, it's just embroidery. But if you're actually like sewing something on, then I don't think it counts as mini groomy. So when it came to the pants, I was like, okay, how am I going to do this without crocheting pants and then sewing pants on? And I realized, oh, I'll just embroider on pants. So I remember that's how I do the pants. But we'll get to there. Um, I just need to work around this green for a little bit. Keep everything locked into place. These patterns are very optimized. That's what I've noticed about all these little mini ones is that they're extremely optimal. Like every stitch is very important. And how you like place your stitches and stuff is very important. So yeah, it's just kind of something I've noticed about this. Um, all right, so we're just gonna let this actually, oh, I think Jimbo stirs. I think we've got a, a cat waking up from their slumber. Are they still in the corner though? They are. Oh my god. Jimbo's so cute. Oh my god, he's upside down. Okay, quick little break. Look at my little baby boy. Oh my god, he's so cute. I love him so much. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. One. Two. four and we'll do five right here okay and next we'll do an arm or a leg rather okay five and then i do two legs with three stitches in between okay What is the last hint? I will do that right before the end of the video. So give me just a little bit longer because we're almost done with this. And this is going to be the last part of today's live stream. And then I will see you in two weeks. Um, I will announce the winner of the giveaway, obviously, on Halloween. Um, I'll do it as like a community channel thing. But don't worry. If you won, I will make sure to let you know. You'll get an email from me uh, and I'll reach out and you will you will be informed, so do not worry about that. Um, but I will also put something on Instagram and stuff like that. Okay, go. Oh, that is the last stitch, right there. Okay, and we just have two more parts and then we sew everything closed. Yeah, cool. I remember when I was making this, I was like, ooh, this doesn't look right. But then I sewed everything closed and I was like, ooh, this looks really cool. <laughs> One, and then two to go here. Okay. Oop. 
that. And then we're going to leave a somewhat long end. Pull it through. We'll stuff a little bit. I'm just going to use this thread to stuff it up with because it's so tiny that we barely have anything to work with anyhow. Um, let's actually start with this one and I'll try to make sure this gets above the eyes. Usually this is the way I like to stuff thread in. I roll it up into a little ball and I place it under that and then I'll use our stick to just kind of stuff that up and over the eyes so that the head gets stuffed up and then I'll do a little bit more right into the body like that um, we'll also need to add obviously our loincloth which I'll do in just a second too Katrina's gonna be like what I missed it I know she's been looking forward to making these goblins for a long time. Okay. And we're going to go one, two. One, two. Bum, bum, bum. I love Animal Crossing music so much. Just like I can feel my soul chilling out when I listen to it. Um, all right, so we're gonna pull that tight and close this up. And I'm gonna go all the way up to where this other end is, like that. And then pull it tight and should like pull the butt all the way in is the goal here. Yeah, like that. Nice, oh my gosh. I still can't believe this works it's crazy to me okay one and then double knot for two cut stuff this end in and then we just need to add a loincloth so that our poor little goblin isn't so nakey. Nakey jakey. Okay, so let's add a little tiny loincloth now. Where, what, what, who, where am I? Who am I right now? Brown yarn. No, not that brown yarn. You know, we'll use brown yarn from the kit. Oh wait, no, I have spare brown yarn here. We'll use this. Okay, so this part we need just like a longish end, and then I just embroider on some cute little drawers. Uh, and let's see if I can remember how I do this. There's not a tutorial on the pattern though. People on Facebook are extremely mean, by the way. I totally agree with that, Elka. Um, okay. I think the way I did it, let's look at the back of this one to see. Yeah, okay, so it's like, yeah, we'll go like this. Out and then out of this stitch here. Okay. We'll go over to the pants. Oh, okay, no, actually over to the right here. Got it. And then I just double this. I do like five of these in a row. Ah. Get out of here, freaking yarn. No one invited you. Okay. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> what did I just quote? Y'all need to know. You know what that is, though. Christina, how are you doing, Christina? One, two, 
I get that white yarn out. There we go. That. I think three is probably fine. I could do one more, but let's see. Mean Girls. Yep, that's what it was, Cooper. She doesn't even go here. There we go. Is that enough for a loincloth? Or should we do one more? Nah, that's enough. We just need to give the idea of a loincloth. And then we go around to the back and go through here and go through here. I love having a very specific embroidery that I do consistently. I don't know why, it's just like really satisfying when you can embroider something on like the same way every time. Very satisfying. Okay, so it looks like this pattern is pretty close to being done, to being ready to go. Um, I obviously still need some more feedback though. So if you would like to, um, uh, Katrina already did add in a comment here. And Yes, they and she thinks that a double crochet two together means decrease, so that's good to know. So there's a note that I need to add in the pattern. Um, but yeah, any kind of feedback on this goblin pattern, very welcomed. Uh, and the pattern should be out, I don't know, soonish, uh, when I when I can. Um, but it looks really cute, and it does seem to work pretty well. All right, well guys, thank you so much for watching. Here's what we've made today. We made a miniature ghost. We made Boo from Super Mario. And we've, of course, made our little tiny goblin. Throughout the rest of this episode, let's see, what else have we made? Um, let's see, we've made our... Uh, oh, yes, we've made our finger puppet ghost in the beginning of the season. We've made some of our little tiny candy corns. I know that. Um... What did we make in that? Oh, we made our pumpkin. Oh my God, let me grab our pumpkin. Of course we made our pumpkin. So we made our, our vampire pumpkin. Looks pretty cool. And then my favorite, honestly, maybe my favorite live stream creation yet. We made, um, oh man, I'm, I'm forgetting the name. Hold on, hold on. Norm the... Uh, worn candy corn with Maisie in a baby Bjorn uh, from last week's live stream, which is honestly a, a top tier, top tier, top tier. Um, okay, well that's you know what guys, that's pretty good for a for our live streams for October. Pretty amazing. I'm very excited to see what we make in November. Um, Thank you guys so much again for watching, and let's do one last hint for our giveaway. So under this giant ghost is a crocheted critter. I'm touching it with my thumb right now. And so far, the hints have been that it is uh, a mythical creature. It uh, has teeth that you sew on, one or more teeth that you sew on, the stitch count is around 200 stitches. And now the last hint for today is that it uses green yarn. That is the main yarn that we use in this pattern is green yarn. Those are your hints for this pattern. If you wanna enter the giveaway, there is links in the description for how uh, to enter the giveaway. Cooper also just put it in the chat so if you want to check the chat, there's a link for where you can enter the giveaway. The winner will be chosen on Halloween, and I'll and I'll reveal our secret hidden crochet then. Um, cool. Again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out if you want to get our new seasonal or our newest seasonal crochet kit with everything that comes for making everything that you see here, as well as everything else that we're we'll going to be making in November and December, and a bunch of alternative patterns. Honestly, this crochet kit. All of our seasonal crochet kits are 
incredible. I'm so, so proud of them, and I really, really hope you guys have been enjoying them as much as I have. Um, but our seasonal crochet kits are now available in the description, and if you want to get our current one, it's on sale um, because it they're always on sale during the season that the kit is being released on. Um, and then lastly, our new starter kit is available now. Um, it's a great way, to, another great way to support the channel. It's our cheapest kit option. It's only $19.99, and it'll teach you all the necessary parts to learn how to crochet for complete beginners. Um, it is great for that person in your life that you've been trying to get into crochet that never could do it. Um, very, very helpful, and uh, obviously another great way to support the channel. I'm really proud of it, so I really hope you like it. Um, all right, guys, pasta la pizza. Happy hooking, and I will see you not next Friday, but the Friday after on November 10th, uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be making our new pattern that comes out next week for a turkey leg and a classic bone. So this should be out on Monday, by the way. Thanks again for watching. Pasta La Pizza, happy hooking, and oh my god, stop. You hang up first, Tina. Oh my god, Tina. You're making me barge. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Now let's stare at my adorable cat. Aw. Aw. Wow. Look at that little baby boy. He's so cute. I love him so much. My little sleepy. Isn't it nice that Jimbo decided to be a good boy today? I'm so proud of him for being a good, quiet, sleepy boy. What a good boy. All right, guys. Pasta la pizza. Rock and roll, Zoe. And I'll catch you in the next stream. Bye. Oh, my God. You hang up first. No, you hang up first. Oh, my God. You're so bad. Thank you.